Here's how to mirror your laptop computer screen with your TV screen. Now for this method to work you need to have Windows 10 operating system on your computer and a smart TV or a smart video recorder that is connected to a TV. So first of all you need to find out if your device, your TV is compatible. So if you click on the uh, bottom left hand side of the screen on the Windows icon and then click on settings and then go to click on devices and then connected devices click on connected devices and then click on um, add a device and now your computer will be searching for any compatible de devices and mine has found three occurrences of my TV so if I could just click on the top one and now it's connecting to my TV okay now that's connected so now we need to go back to settings so just click on the arrow at the top and then click back again and then go to the top one system and then click on display and then here we just need to click on connect to a wireless display and then on the top right you'll be searching for any wireless displays and then if we click on the this is showing me the ID of my TV on the right so if I just click on that again it will now start trying to connect to my TV so you can see now my TV has gone to a black screen so there you go it's now paired with my laptop now in my experience sometimes this may take two or three attempts where you would have to click on the top right to disconnect the computer and then click on the ID here to reconnect. If you do get just a black screen for a few minutes then if you do this disconnect and reconnect two or three times it should fix the issue. So in this case it's done it first time. So which means now I can just anything on my computer will come up on the TV so I can I can go and surf the internet I can use any browser to surf the internet or I can use Skype or anything that you do on your laptop will be shown on the TV okay now if I want to exit from and get back to my TV there's two ways of doing it you can click on connect to a wireless display and then disconnect or you could alternately just use your remote control and just click on the exit button if you've got one uh, on your remote control so in this case I'm just going to click on disconnect on my laptop like that and now uh, the TV is back to normal. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please thumbs it up. And if you're interested in any more videos from Tom's Tech Reviews, please subscribe.